Welcome everyone. Um, today we are going to do our monthly Twin Flame reading. Um, and the reason why I do these monthlies is different Twin Flames are going to be at different stages. So, you know, sometimes one may not relate, but then the next one does. Just understand that. Um, also, I want to say about Twin Flames, I am one. And it doesn't mean it's an easy journey. It can be a difficult journey, but we really are the mirrors to each other's souls. So, you know, and then some believe in like the runner and the chaser. I don't know if I do, but I guess if I do, I would have been more of the runner. Um, you know, like I just think about like a lot of different relationships I've been in, like I was the runner. Um, but, you know, now that I'm together in union with mine, even in the beginning, I felt like running and it's weird because, you know, definitely love and everything was there, but I just think maybe it's already in us. I don't know. Um, so anyways, we are going to do the divine masculine and the divine feminine. And I also want you to understand you can be either one, you know, we have masculine and feminine energy in each and every one of us, light and dark within each and every one of us. Um, so I am going to call the left side of the reading the Divine Masculine and the right side the Divine Feminine. But again, understand you could be on either side. We are going to use, I just felt like bringing in the Major Arcanas again because it's the theme for September. So I thought, why not? Let's bring them in. And for the um, Divine Masculine, we are going to use the Universal Tarot. And for the Divine Feminine, we're going to use the Light Seers Tarot. So I'm going to put these up here for right now. And to clarify, really to connect them is what I do when I use the Gilded Tarot. Um, it is to connect the two. You know, first of all, to look for the synchronicities. Uh, but then I will take a line right in between the two different sides to see what's connecting them. You know, these readings always blow me away. Um, but I do want you to understand, like, you know, if you are in a twin flame relationship, and let's just say, you know, it's been very difficult. I don't feel like there's any reason why, you know, you should accept anything less than what you deserve. Sometimes, you know, I feel like twin flames come together when their vibration is pretty close together. So... You know, uh, twin flame can definitely be in another relationship. And I don't think that's something I would I would accept, you know, to each of their own, of course. But those are the kind of things we're looking at. Like, where is a divine masculine? What's going on in their life right now? Um, their current energy. And then the same for the feminine. Um, and then, you know, if they're coming together in this reading, how are they coming together? Um, so let's go ahead and what I'm going to do is I'm going to give the major arcanas a shuffle and I'm just going to take one for each one, but I'm going to start with the masculine just get like the overall energy. Let's give them a cut. Okay. And just going to kind of feel my way through here. Okay, I'm going to take that for the masculine. And this is going to be for the feminine. We'll look at that when it's time. So we're going to start on the masculine side. Let's see what the major arcana is. Mm, judgment. Judgment. Interesting. You know, to me, this means that their spiritual team is being very proactive in their life right now. This is energy of being called into the current moment energy um, for a potential rebirth. So I find that interesting. Um, you know, I feel like if nothing else, like if I can't have any control over the say so of when the potential union's going to be. I feel like their spiritual team is working on it. You know, definitely working on it. So let's put this up here. And I'm going to bring the lid down. 
Let's go ahead and give the Universal Tarot a shuffle or two. Of course, everything's always pre-shuffled. You know, I titled this a Twin Flame. Can it also be for soulmates? It can certainly be for soulmates because, you know, soulmates, I mean, you're soul connected. You know, you probably have loved before in previous lifetimes. You'll probably love again, um, but you'll always be soul connected. So, with that in mind, let's go ahead and begin. You know, and let's just say that you feel like you met your twin in this lifetime. Does that guarantee you that you'll come together? Well, I feel like, you know, each each soul has like their own journey, let's say. And if part of that soul's journey was to connect in this lifetime, then I feel like yes. But it doesn't always guarantee us, right? Because... You know, we probably have, again, loved in, last, in our last lifetime. And when we do come together, doesn't mean that there aren't some lessons, right? Because we're here to teach each other. Look at this, Nine of Cups. You know what this makes me feel like first and foremost is singular energy. So... I feel like whatever twin flames we're talking about today, I feel like this masculine is probably single, um, or at least on their way to it. This is about inner harmony. But it's also about a fulfillment of a wish. You know, it's interesting. It's reminding me of a reading I did. I can't remember what sign for the monthlies. And I did feel like there was someone who was in singular energy. I feel like it's Capricorn, uh, but I could be wrong. But anyways, they were in singular energy. And really the question that was posed to them is, you know, are they ready to become a couple? And I felt like in the reading, um, that was one of the things that they were thinking about. Like, you know, maybe I just became single. And maybe I want to spend a little time in this energy before I move forward. You know, the one thing I do like about this, though, is it is inner harmony. So we'll see. I know the cars look so far away. Someone said, why don't you put a camera over it? I just don't have. Um, I can't use my phone to like put over the deck, though. That's what I'm saving up for next is a good phone. That is a good camera. All right. We have the King of Cups. Interesting. Can be Cantor Scorpio or Pisces. But, you know, it doesn't have to be. You know, it's interesting because this king has a cup in his hand. And coming next to the nine of cups, I have a feeling this king is thinking about the offering of this, cups, this cup, which would take him to the ten of cups. But it feels like they're thinking about it, right? Like almost out of my chair. Should I or shouldn't I? Definitely feels like they're thinking about you because I feel like it's pretty clear who I want to offer that cup to, but am I ready to offer that cup? How would it be received if I do? Hmm, two swords, so thinking, maybe overthinking. You know, Two Swords is about um, someone wearing a blindfold. Though, with judgment here, I feel like a spiritual team will get through to them. It could be the potential of blocking an opportunity, but really, I feel like it's more of a fear. Like, there just might be something I'm fearful, and I just have a feeling, again, it's like, if this person, let's say, and I do feel it's like this person became single, um, and it may not have been that long ago. So do, wanna, do I want to change my status? And if I do, and I do want to offer the feminine this cup, will she accept it? 
Well, look at this. It's a judgment actually showing up now on their side. It's like their spiritual team is all around them. You know, this may be the time. This may be the time that these souls have agreed upon. And that's why they're being called into the present moment or the masculine is being called into the present moment. Definitely feel like this king is thinking, do I or don't I? Judgment is like, well, I think you do. Or at least I feel like you want to. Again, it is a rebirth, and the rebirth here, to me, feels more about, like, moving from singular energy into a partnership. Look at this, Ace of Pentacles. So, Ace of Pentacles talks about something coming into your physical world. Starts as a seed. It really does take nurturing. And that, be, that may be one of the things that the, that the masculine is thinking about. Right? It's like, I want to offer this cup. I feel like their spiritual team is definitely connecting to them. And, you know, also saying that if you do make this decision to move forward, know that you have to nurture this seed. You know, make sure you're ready to nurture this seed. And then when you do, the seed really blossoms. I don't feel like the Ace of Pentacles is also a one-time thing. You know, I feel like it's talking about Definitely, um, whether I'm physically coming into someone's life. I love the judgment is saying to the, uh, the masculine, you know, it's, it's time for this rebirth. Like this is when your soul asked for, it. and here is the ace to bring it about. Now the king is looking right at that ace. Okay, well, hello, movement. Knight of Wands. Kind of trumps the Two of Swords energy. So, you know, again, whatever is like kind of held me back, and he's swaying towards these cups. I literally feel like I just want to make sure that I can make this commitment that I know it's going to take. Um, I definitely feel also that probably most of you already, you know, you don't have to know who this person is in this lifetime, but you will recognize them anyway. So Knight of Wands is, you know, about movement. It's a passion. It's desirable. This is, this is the masculine following that desire. All right, the high priestess, well, spirit team got through to them. This is about listening to one's intuition, trusting one's intuition. I'm going to slide this up a little bit. It's almost like they can't get away from a soul's, requ our soul's um, request, a soul's desire. And, you know, this is literally saying, like, listen to your intuition. Let go of the fear of, you know, how this cup may be received by the feminine and just take that movement. You know, the Knight of Wands can also be fast moving energy. And I just know from my own experiences, you know, when I came together with mine, Many of you know, it was so unexpected. Mm. Dang it. Um, you know, we met when we were teenagers and then reconnected 40 years later. Uh, but I didn't expect it. You know, sometimes these readings can seem too good to be true. But I, what I want you to recognize, though, is, you know, how long has this person been in the Nine of Cups? 
They could have been in it for a while because the two of swords mirroring that nine of cups makes me feel like, you know, I probably thought about it, um, but there is some fear around it. You know, maybe, uh, you know, maybe they don't even put a twin flame name to it. And they're just thinking of like a love relationship. You know, I've been in a relationship. They haven't gone right. Probably because they haven't found that true fulfillment that the feminine can bring them. Judgments like listen to your intuition here. Ace of Pentacles feels like the way. Knight of Wands tells me that there is this passion, right? It's already there. High Priestess means that their spiritual team is, you know, even with this blindfold of the Two of Swords, it still feels like their spiritual team is getting through to them. Hmm. Five of Swords. And you know what? I feel like the Five of Swords, which talks about toxicity, I feel like it's relating to energy they've already been in because Five is about a change. Um, and I feel like what, you know, I feel like what they're reflecting upon, again, is love that has not gone right. Love that was difficult. You know, and then I get this feeling of like someone who wanted me to be who they wanted me to be and I couldn't be that just wasn't who I was and again I felt like this longing um or let's put it a different way this feeling that you know like I never felt that full fulfillment person in five swords looking right back at the high priestess but it's also mirroring that king who, you know, again, has that cup in his hand and looks like he's about ready to get out of that chair. Well, hello, chariot. There's movement. So, again, I just want to remind you, because if we just read it on a surface level, it looks like wham, bam, thank you, ma'am, right? Nine of cups, I'm single. King of Cups, I'm going to make this movement. I have the cup right in my hand. Judgment, here's it's time for a rebirth. The Ace of Pentacles, here's the way. Knight of Wands, this is the passion and desire. High Priestess, my intuition, you know, it's not allowing me to ignore it. But the Five of Swords, you know, can mean, that can certainly mean time, right? The time of just, first of all, I feel like, it's important they found this inner harmony and that could have taken time but the chariot is movement it's not just movement it's also balance and i often read this um especially in a twin flame relationship as the divine feminine and the divine masculine you know i feel like the chariot doesn't show until there is this balance but it's really driven by one's intentions. And it's mirroring that two of swords next to the five of swords. So I feel like that is giving us like a time level. It may not have happened, you know, it may not, it may have taken time. It certainly might have taken time, but I feel like everything is giving them the opportunity to make movement. If they're ready to make this movement. Um, this is a card of cancer, by the way. So you have two cards of movement here. Five of swords looking back at the high priestess. You know, and I feel like it's literally the masculine saying, I have no interest in going back into any type of toxic type of energy. Again, they may not put a title to you. You know what I mean? They, know, they may not call you their twin. They may not even know what that means. But I feel like there's a longing within them. And sometimes I feel like we do have to give people time. 
just as we need time, right, to come to this inner harmony. I love that the Nine of Cups opens up the re up, opens up their side, and the Chariot is, you know, I'm going to say the last card, but we're still going to clarify, um, which then is movement. Again, this king's got that cup already in his hand. And then we have, well, hello, two of wands on the bottom of the deck. So it's like getting ready to take a step forward. Interesting. Page of Pentacles underneath that. You know, I probably learned a lot through my experiences. And there's probably been quite a few different experiences. You know, I feel like we can't get mad that, let's just say the masculine was involved with other people. Because I feel like, especially with the Page of Pentacles here, I feel like each and everything has taught them. And I feel like one of the things that they're learning is, um, you know, that they truly haven't felt this inner fulfillment. And that's what they're searching for. No, I shouldn't say that. They found the inner fulfillment, but they haven't found the fulfillment of their heart. So, their spiritual team is everywhere. Spiritual team blowing that trumpet, calling them to the present moment. And maybe they've been in that nine, that singular energy for a while. And sometimes that can be hard to give up. I know that as a Virgo, like, you know, Give up my independence? Mm, it's going to take a special person. Okay. I'm going to just put judgment right there. And I'm doing that so I can slide these up a little bit. And let's go ahead and look at the feminine side. Um... Look at this, the full, a new beginning. You know, the first thing you want to think about when the full shows up, it is about a new beginning. It is about taking a leap of faith, but it's also letting the past be in the past. You know, if I was connected with this person, you know, like Sam and I were connected when we were teenagers and then we broke up and then he went on to live his life. I went on to live my life. You know, he got married, I got married. But we both were single at the same time. I was only two weeks single when that fateful day when he reached out and called me. I was living in a different state. And I know many of you know this story, but I was. I was living in a different state. And I have to say, when I say I was the runner, it took me five years of just very long phone conversations. Like, but it was very romantic. Like everything about it I knew was meant to be. Um, but to actually like book that airline ticket and then move in with him, it took me five years. So I get this energy of like, ah. But yet, and, and you know, like I didn't really even understand at that point. But I knew the minute that he called that this was it. This was it. So anyways, the full. Gonna let the past be the past. I'm, gonna, I'm willing to take that leap of faith. I'm willing to give myself this new beginning. Of course, that is a personal choice. I know not everyone's going to say that. So let's go ahead and read the feminine side and then we will connect them. Let's go ahead and give this a couple shuffles. Oh. You know, that's the only thing I worry about when I do twin flame readings is that some people think that it's like, you know, again, wham, bam, thank you, ma'am. You know, I'm single and then boom, I want to head towards you. I feel like it takes reflection. It takes time. You know, I feel like this masculine had to think about, like, why haven't I found this true fulfillment? You know, probably have been with different people and and probably has even loved them. But still, nothing felt, nothing felt 100% right. I know that feeling also. 
All right. Matt, our feminine. I kind of love the Ace of Pentacles right in the center of that reading. And then the Knight of Wands following that. It feels like movement to me. And I love that. Again, the masculine spiritual team is like all around him. Like, you know, even in the Two of Swords, I can get through that. It just feels like it's the time. Ten of Pentacles. Go ahead and I'm going to put the full over there. Just remember. Strength card. Card of Leo. You know, it's, it's the energy of overcoming. Like our own inner beast so to speak and um it is an eight eight to me stands for affinity as above so below no beginning no end and that really is the truth you know i feel like someone is trying to find like their gentler side and then look at this the five of pentacles so i feel like the feminine probably has also been with someone you know um, Ten of Pentacles to me is, well, it's the House of Abundance. But then, boom, the Five of Pentacles. I'm going to slide these over a little bit so you can see them all. But then the Five of Pentacles, they're mirroring each other. So I feel like I have the Ten of Pentacles. For some reason, that ended. And the Eight of Pentacles seems really important. Like, I, I needed to find myself again. I needed to come back to myself you know, I'm noticing this gentle little lamb, but really this person is like half woman, half tiger or lion, king of the jungle. What did I need to overcome in that energy? You know, it is about oneself. And it could be that whatever you know again maybe you maybe the feminine doesn't even know you know the term twin flame let's just say love so it feels like something happened right like i had the ten of pentacles that didn't work out but listen i have to tell you at the same time especially with divine involved here this reminds me again i hate to talk about myself but two weeks before Sam reached out and called me, I was with someone that I'd been with for 25 years. And it didn't work out. You know, there was just no love left. So I'm the one who did leave, but almost felt pushed out at the same time. Like I just knew, right? And I remember, you know, I remember the day that Sam called. It was a day, actually... I had picked up the phone that day and called that person I had just been with for 25 years and I was going to invite them over. And then my call waiting rang and it was Sam after 40 years. And he opened up the conversation by singing the beginning of what was our song back in the day, Night Moves by Bob Sigger. It changed everything. I told the person I was on the other line with, like, okay, never mind. I don't want you to come over. I'm done. Like, just like that. You know, and the Five of Pentacles can talk about that. You know, it may talk about, like, at a period where you feel like I'm at my lowest. Boom. Boom. You know, this person is kind of in a state of sadness. But if you really recognize what's going on here, just big key right here. And this key unlocks this next door, this next chapter. Right? But right now they're focusing on what they have lost. And it feels like that Ten of Pentacles. So once they are able to make that change, under you know, face it, I feel like that key will be will be seen. That door will be unlocked. 
And we already know what lies behind that door. It's funny how we can be in a relationship with someone and, you know, be sad that something didn't work out. Um, even sometimes like inviting someone back into your life that you know just isn't right. You know, but sometimes, you know, during, it's during those loneliest moments. And again, as a Virgo, I don't have lonely moments very often, but I did. Okay, let's keep going. There is that key that unlocks that door that begins that new chapter. Full. It is about a new beginning. And whether I've been with this person before or not, it has nothing to do with the past. This is new, fresh energy. It's like a new day. But I get the energy of the Five of Pentacles because that's exactly how it happened for me. We have the Four of Cups. Interesting, Four of Cups coming under the Ten of Pentacles. Four of Cups really talks about discontentment and boredom in one's life. Um, but you, you can't really see it in this image. There is a cup coming in. And it really asks us to use our spiritual discernment relating to that cup. I often feel this cup is coming from the hand of God. You know, a cup that was meant to be. But how interesting that under that Ten of Pentacles, where normally you think I would be happy, right? I would be happy. I'd be celebrating that energy. But I'm not. I'm not happy there. And even though maybe I wasn't happy, maybe I was unwilling to make whatever changes, you know, maybe I was afraid to be on my own type of energy. Yet the Five of Pentacles doesn't really give you the opportunity really to decide because I feel like the Five of Pentacles is something outside of our wishes. But on a soul level, was it really? Page of Pentacles under the strength card. You know, I feel like it's learning about oneself. It's even learning about the things that I've accepted in my life. And why did I accept them? You know, was it due to loneliness? Again, I get this feeling that the feminine is also, you know, it's showing that the feminine, again, was in a relationship. And maybe it'd been a long, maybe it was a long relationship. But was I happy? No. So maybe I needed to find that courage. Because that's really what the strength card talks about. Courage. Power. To overcome. It's interesting. She's wearing her heart. On the outside. Almost like that heart has not been fulfilled. But yet. There was a lot I could learn. And again, if we remember that we're each other's mirror, when we do come together, there's a lot that we can help. We can teach each other. Some of them can be difficult lessons. You know, a lot of twin flames will come together and then break up because it's hard to look at the mirror of oneself. But I feel like here, this is giving the feminine the opportunity to really reflect upon that before it even comes together. Right? What have I been learning? What have I learned through my journeys, through the different chapters of my life? Well, first of all, I'm not satisfied. And even if I didn't ask for the change, listen, maybe I'm fearful of change. Maybe I'm not someone who just easily accepts change but nonetheless it happened and maybe the reflection is saying to oneself what i thought was my everything though in a way i say that and i feel but 
I didn't have true fulfillment. I may have had all the money in the world, the luxuries, but my heart, especially because she's wearing her heart outside of her herself. It's like, it's almost like that heart on that necklace is calling, you know, here's my heart and I'm calling. And with them having judgment twice, right? Calling them to the present moment. I wouldn't be surprised if something happens over here where you yourself find yourself alone. You know, I'm thinking of the last twin flame reading I did last month, and I felt like the masculine was in a relationship, but not happy. Um, and in this reading, I feel that the masculine is now single and has found that inner harmony. And listen, again, it could have been nine years, right? A nine can certainly stand for a chapter. But then that king holding that cup. Hmm. Look at this. You both have the high priestess. And the page of pentacles is looking right over the high priestess. It's almost like you've been learning how to trust your own intuition. You know, understanding these life lessons, but on a soul level. Well, hello, Knight of Wands. So Knight of Wands right here, looking right at that Ace of Pentacles. The Ace of Pentacles is about something is coming into your physical world. Knight of Wands. And I kind of love that it's coming into the Four of Cups because in the Four of Cups, it really does signify that a cup is coming your way. Well, that king is holding the cup. But it's asking you to use your spiritual discernment. You know, I feel like sometimes that's why there's time in between because there were things that I needed to learn. There were things that he needed to learn. He or she. You know, and I feel like one of the things that the feminine needed to learn was to get back to her old self again. You know, I just feel the playfulness within this energy, like going by the beat of my own drum. And maybe I, w I didn't have that opportunity. Maybe I needed to cover that up. But now it feels like it's coming back to life again. She's got a big smile on her face. Something's changing there. Something's changing. Something in the air. You know, I forgot to tell you in the beginning of the reading, in these type of readings, definitely feel comfortable asking your spirit guides to give you signs of confirmation. You know what I mean? Like, is this reading for me? Is it my time? Because even if this, let's say, is not your time, it doesn't mean your time's not around the corner. Um, and I wish I would have told you that in the beginning. But I feel like at this point, I felt like you would kind of know First of all, I feel like over here, it does feel like there was a breakup. And it does feel like, you know, you had to overcome that. And I feel like one of the things, because the high priestess is mirroring that four of cups, one of the things you're realizing is, even though this is the house of abundance, you weren't truly happy there. Wow. Hello, Knight of Cups. You know, that's probably why I told you how Sam and I got connected, right? Completely unexpected, at least on my part. Unexpected. But it came in. You know, and I love this kind of mirroring the strength card. Because, again, I feel like it is important that I guess that we be open 
and even open to things happening in an unexpected way. This person's got like a dozen red roses. Interesting, like I'm looking at this letter and the patience of this Knight of Cups. And, you know, it doesn't mean I, like I literally had to write a letter, but I feel like it is speaking of like some type of words of endearment and something that this knight has hung on to. This is unexpected, let's just say unexpected love. Coming right next to the Knight of Wands, where I feel like it's you, you know, back to your old self again, like going to the beat of your own drum. And even though I took this hit up here, I now understand it. And I feel like as this starts to come together, you'll understand it even more. King of Wands. King of Wands can be a Leo. Um... Sagittarius or Aquarius, but doesn't have to be any of that. This, this is someone who puts actions behind their word. You know, it's interesting because there's this lion behind him, right? And here you are in the strength card, part lion, part female, part woman. It feels to me like same vibrational level. Almost like you feel it before it arrives. Like you have the opportunity to feel it. And maybe even learn, like, understand it. Again, I get this feeling. I'm going to let this truck pass by. Um, I get this feeling that feminine is thinking about, again, the things that didn't go right, but then does come to that, that realization that, listen, even though it could have hurt to have this breakup, I truly wasn't happy anyway. I didn't have full, you know, true fulfillment. And it, this person is, is, you know, there is a cup coming in. And it is important that they use their spiritual discernment. Well, that's relating or mirroring the high priestess. And here it is. Here is the Knight of Cups. We have the Five of Cups. Interesting. And the Five of Cups is mirroring, or not mirroring, but coming with the Eight of Wands. Interesting because Eight of Wands, I often feel like, is our intentions. It's like the law of attraction. It's like the energy we're putting out there. And then it coming back. You also want to think about one's own vibration. You know, no wonder like going through these, what feels like difficult situation, but then having that realization, I wasn't really happy or fulfilled anyway. And then finding yourself again. It's almost like that inner child of you coming out. I'm going by the beat of my own drum. And then comes that night of cups that unexpected couple fulfillment. And I feel like the King of Wands is really representing someone who puts action actions behind their words. Five of Cups. Someone that I used to know. So the Five of Cups, it's a five. It's change. Right. But in the Five of Cups, you know... What I want to be careful about is, you know, I can be missing someone. But I could also be missing someone that I thought that I wanted. But maybe I really didn't. Again, that reflection over whoever you're with in the Ten of Pentacles. I mean, great. You could have had like a lot of material things and what have you, but you didn't have inner fulfillment. You didn't have, your heart didn't feel fulfilled. So be careful about your thoughts. You know what I mean? Because we can manifest someone back that we really don't want back. Just like that fateful day when I was on the phone about to offer the person I had left just two weeks ago to come over. And then Sam called. Well, that changed everything. 
and really in the five of cups when this person is no longer focusing on the past again taking on the fool's energy what do they find two cups two cups behind them now if i think in different terms if i think is if i think that all is possible and i put those intentions out you know even if again i don't even put the name twin flame to it but I'm putting that intention out there. It's what the Eight of Wands is. Like the Law of Attraction. But it's also fast moving energy. What I think about, I bring about. Some of you clearly know each other already. And, you know, subconsciously, you may be manifesting each other. I feel like the masculine is consciously thinking about this, but you may be subconsciously thinking about this. Eight, a new beginning. And, you know, I feel like in the five of cups, again, it feels like I didn't have that inner harmony, right? To film the fulfillment of my heart. It just, I could never find it. Even if I loved people who loved me back, I still couldn't find that true fulfillment. Okay, we will leave those there. Actually, um, let's put them over there. Come on. Look at the bottom of your deck, the feminist deck. I don't know why I'm saying yours. The Ace of Cups, unconditional love. Unconditional love. Even if we've loved before but broke up, I just feel like no one has taken that place. Even if we don't know each other yet, we have loved before. And we will love it again. And listen, even if this is not happening in this lifetime, that love just never dies. I mean, come on, the Ace of Cups and the masculine having that Two of Wands, getting ready to take a step forward. Let's put this over here. And let's put the full right over that Ace of Cups. Will I give myself this opportunity? You know, I feel like the Ace of Pentacles in the middle of their spread to me feels like action. And then the Page of Pentacles in the middle of the feminine spread. It's really about learning. Right? Really learning. And I feel like this is more an emotional type level. Because I feel like in the fool's energy, there's nothing that I need to bring forward with me except for the wisdom that I've gained. And I do feel this sense on both sides of even if I was in real, and I do feel like you were in relationships before with other people, that true fulfillment was never found. Doesn't mean we didn't love. But. I just feel like nothing compares, nothing compares to you. Sorry. All right. All right. Let's make a little room here. Actually, I want to look right below that Ace of Cups. Justice. Justice. Some of you, this could have literally been a, literally been a divorce. It definitely cutting at ties. And again, it may not be ties that I myself planned on cutting. But nonetheless, you know, justice is about making you whole again. Even if it comes through hard cutting of ties. All right. Let's bring in the Gilded Chirac. And the first thing we're going to do is connect them right down the middle. Let's give them one more shuffle. 
Yeah, it's interesting also because the person in the Four of Cups who is really in the energy of discontentment, she's looking over to this side. And it's almost like, in a way, I'm fantasizing about it. Give them a cut, introduce them into the reading. Let me just make sure I have room. It's a Virgo in me. I need my cards nice and neat. Okay. Oh, that was my chair. Sorry. Look at this. The Ace of Pentacles. So it literally jumped from the masculine side. Now it's the connecting energy. It means it's coming into your physical world, period. It means each other are coming into each other's physical world. Again, I can't tell you, like, how long this person, and even how long this person has been in each of their own energy. It could have been nine years. But it doesn't have to be that. But it could have been. But now it just feels like the time. Feels like the masculine is listening to their spiritual team. And I have to say, whatever I lost in that Ten of Pentacles, it's going to seem like nothing in the long run. I have to say, this the, these Twin Flame readings never disappoint. Six of Swords. Now, what's interesting about this is the Masculine has this Five of Swords. And when you see Six of Swords, you have to think back one card. Because this person's, you know, on the boat, moving forward, leaving something. Well, the leaving toxicity. However that may be, like however it showed itself. It's someone having that realization that, you know, I've been dealing with toxic type energy. And, you know, temporarily, this can be a little bit of difficult energy because it is movement. But I feel like as I continue to move forward, that toxicity becomes less and less and less because I'm moving away from it. And I'm moving to calmer waters. You know, where am I moving? I'm moving to you. And it's moving right towards the feminine's energy. You know, our power of intention is so strong and powerful. And we just need to remember that. And I almost want to take out the word twin flame. Um, because who knows? You know, maybe neither one even understands the term. But what they do understand is they haven't been able to find that true inner fulfillment. Well, hello, temperance. So temperance's first message is patience. Sometimes that can be hard. But it is a virtue. Temperance is all about divine timing. Well, the masculine has spiritual energy all around him. Calling him to the present moment. You know, making them feel comfortable to then offer this cup. And with the Ace of Pentacles right underneath it, I, I feel like there's no doubt. All of it in divine timing. That makes total sense. Right? Total sense to me. Also facing the feminine. Let's just put it this way. Let's say the masculine had been ready, had been thinking about this in his, you know, getting ready to make this movement. But the feminine over here, let's just say she was still in that Ten of Cups or Ten of Pentacles. That means she's connected to someone, not single. And it doesn't necessarily mean that you have to have a single status, but it's definitely showing that you understand you know, who you're with, the situation you're in is not bringing you satisfaction. 
You're not feeling it on a true heart level. Temperance, divine timing. Like, it's almost like temperance is saying to the feminine how to make sure that any, any of the residual toxicity is gone. How to make sure that this person was willing and able to now move forward. I love when temperance shows up because temperance really says you don't have to worry about this. You know, this will happen in divine timing, period. And even trying to control it, it it's like outside of our control. Expect the unexpected. And then make a decision. Let's do one more there. Okay, we got more than one, but let's, let's, well, we got a lot. We have the Seven of Swords. We have the King of Wands. Hmm. We have the Fool. And then we have the Nine of Swords. The Nine of Swords and the Fool don't really go together. But I'm not going to keep these cards here, but I am going to talk about them. So I do feel like for a few of you, because we have the King of Wands every year, you could have been connected before. And, you know, this person may not have been in, let's just say, their best energy. I feel like person in the Seven of Swords is someone who thinks about themselves. You know, almost like the runner and the chaser. But here, I feel like it's there's a giver and there's a taker. So if, but I feel like at the same time, you know, maybe things didn't work out the way they were meant to in the beginning. You know, again, I'm just going to use Sam and I as an example. Um, when we were teenagers, um, he had said to me, I remember this so well. We, he just, he was dropping me off. Um, actually, his brother was driving. We were in the back seat and he leaned over and he said to me, I love you. And I remember I could not say it back, even though I did love him. I loved him the minute, the minute I met him. But because of the way I grew up, like my mother um, just wasn't an emotional creature. Like she didn't, she didn't tell us kids, like, I love you. Those words just weren't heard. And my dad did, but my mom didn't. And my mom and dad got divorced. So, um, and I'm not laying the blame on my mom. To say those words, like I, everything in me wanted to say them, but I couldn't. And he broke up with me that night. And that was that. And then we went on and lived our separate lives. I'm kind of feeling that here. Because then there's this full, right? A new beginning. And, and it's almost like the masculine is asking the feminine, like, take a leap of faith on me. And then the Nine of Swords comes out. This is worry. How do I know? How do I know it, that it will be safe? You know, Nine of Swords is about unnecessary worry, especially when you see temperance. Temperance is to say, try not to control the things that you really have no control over. The Fool is saying, you need to be able to put, well, you got the Fool right here too. You need to be able to put the past in the past. You know, the Nine of Swords is the, our humanness. Can certainly be overthinking. You know, it's Carter Virgo. Virgos can definitely overthink. I know, I am one. <laughs> so, but unnecessary. And, you know, the masculine could certainly be thinking that with the Two of Swords, like, like, what if, what if the feminine just shuts me down? Well, that's a chance, right? But the fool's like, but you got to take that leap of faith anyway. So I do feel like for some of you, you probably already know who this person is. And that may be why I'm talking about Sam and I. But we are going to just remember them. Let's slide them over here. So let's bring this down.
and let's um i don't feel like i need to clarify everything because i feel like it's pretty clear pretty clear but i know a lot of you like me to clarify so let's just take a couple cards right across the top line six of wands that's victory and success you know i feel like the masculine has changed a lot so if you know this person i feel like they're different. This is someone who other people really look up to, but it's because of action steps that they've taken. It may mean that you yourself may look up to them. Victory and success. Three swords. Makes sense because the two swords is right there. But then look at this. That star, my hopes, my dreams, my wishes. This person could have certainly broken your heart before. As Sam did mine. But in reality, I guess I broke his too. But now this is coming over the Ace of Pentacles. So it is about a wish coming true. Also card of Aquarius. We need to put that out there. Three of Wands, beautiful. You know, it, it's like a change of thought. This is where, first of all, I feel like, let's just say we were together before. You know, and it reminds me again, again, I'm going to talk about myself, but it reminds me of how it took me five years to, even though like everything about that phone call changed my whole life, my whole outlook. Um, and it, you know, five years we spent on the phone, but it was romantic. We learned so much about each other. We helped each other. We talked about previous relationships and things that we've been through and, you know, and me giving like my opinion and him giving his opinion. Like we really learned so much. Three wands is living in the present moment. It's, a, it's an energy of optimism. It's saying to the universe, I know you'll bring my ships in. I just know that. You know, I expect good things to happen, and they do. Interesting how the, the masculine had the two of wands, and the feminine now has the three of wands. You know, and, and it could signify, like, we don't have to, like, rush this. Maybe let's take a moment and enjoy it. Like, enjoy each moment for what it is. That's what temperance is asking, right? Divine timing, but also, you know, letting go of those things that you just really have no control over. And really learning just to love your life the way it is right now. And it doesn't mean everything's going right. But in the Three of Wands, I am finding things to be optimistic about. You know, maybe I'm now realizing, like, who I was connected to before, even though I did go through this hardship, this this heartache. And I don't feel like it's talking about the mask on, even though for some of you, that probably happened too. But I feel like this is more recent. I had to understand that I really wasn't happy there anyway. So the three of wands to me is like just a different perspective. Again, I expect good things to happen. And then they do. Look at this five of swords. I have a strength card. Interesting how you both have the five of swords. You know, the five of swords coming out of the strength card, that's one's own toxicity. That's, you know, maybe I've been drawn to the wrong type of people. Maybe I kept bringing the wrong type of people back in. And that'd be my own energy. We have to realize that. 
you know, and it reminds me again of how I was just reaching out to someone I had just broken up with, right? And it was, and I know it was the wrong move. But nonetheless, in that moment of weakness, and the page of cups, almost feels like singular energy here. You know, the page of cups is really learning to love oneself for exactly who I am. I feel like the page of cups is also very playful type energy. And interesting, I felt that in the Knight of Wands also. You know, you have the Knight of Wands over here where I feel like this is movement coming towards the feminine. But in here, I feel like this Knight of Wands is the feminine coming back to herself. Like, you know, like, no, I'm going to do things my way. Yeah, I'm going to I'm going to go by the beat of my own drum. Playfulness. Learning to love again. But first you had to love yourself. To me, it's like it's mirroring that nine of, of cups for the masculine, right? That inner harmony. And I feel like it's similar type energy here. Interesting, I was only going to take a couple cards and I took quite a few. But each and every one of them makes sense. We have the Emperor, Card of Aries. But forget about that because, especially with the Six of Wands above it, this person, uh, the masculine, could have certainly done some pretty amazing things in their life, overcome some difficult situations, because I do feel like the the emperor and the empress both have lived a lot of life, and it doesn't mean that I'm old. It just means I've had a lot of experiences, but I've learned how to overcome them. The emperor is someone that we can look up to, can be a teacher, spiritual teacher, and again, it's like, I, I kind of hate to put a title on it. We have the King of Swords, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Okay, so other than that, to me, the King of Swords is someone of integrity. If he was in reverse, I'd say no. And let's not forget, we did have the Seven of Swords. That could have been younger energy. But now I stand here as a king, truthful, honest. Well, hello, lovers. Wow. Heart of Gemini. But if ever this image applies, it applies in a twin flame reading because you can see the feminine, right? She can see her. She can feel the energy of the masculine. The masculine hasn't reached her yet, but it's like, I can feel it. I can feel you coming. Maybe I'm really putting my intentions out there now. Here he is. Just not in physical form yet. Right over that four cups. And then look at this. So, yes. I lost that Ten of Pentacles, but look what you're reclaiming, the Ten of Pentacles. You know, Ten of Pentacles is, yes, it is the house of abundance, but it's also now. I feel like the way, it, you know, the placement of it, it's talking about a house that can truly take root. And I do feel the energy with the Ten of Pentacles of you know, past lifetimes, and even after we leave this life, you know, like, I feel the potential of, like, uh, children and grandchildren, like, telling our story, telling our love story. You're reclaiming not only what you've lost, but tenfold. I mean, hello, lovers. We have the death card. 
So death card, it's a closing of a door. But it is so a rebirth can take place. Coming over the high priestess for the masculine. So, you know, right next to that five of swords. Closing of a door and closing that door for good. And then a new door opens. Just like over here where this person in the five of pentacles. Here is the key that unlocks that next door. It's just taken me a moment to figure that out, to find it, to understand that. Also, card of Scorpio. The magician. Manifester. You know, anytime you see a fool in the reading, the fool. And listen, I had somebody leave me comments saying, how dare you call me a fool? You know, then I'm talking about in Tarot. In Tarot, the fool is starting on the next journey, right? Is taking a leap of faith. Um, is not bringing the past, except for the wisdom that I've gained along for the journey. And one of the first mentors the fool meets is the magician. And the magician teaches the fool, you really possess everything you need to be successful. Has the infinity number right there, almost like so you cannot miss it. Well, hello world, the next chapter. And let me tell you, the world speaks about the most spiritual time in your life. These two have, listen, they've both been through it, right? They both have their own life experiences. They both overcome a lot. Their spirituality is, has come alive. And listen, maybe it's when this really comes together, you really understand that on a spiritual level. I feel like the world doesn't show until you're ready. But it is talking about the next chapter. But you know what? The world, it's the last card in the Tarot. So to me, it's the closest energy to God. I feel like this is not about a nine-year cycle. This is probably the rest of your lives. And I have to say probably because each has their own free will. But it's over temperance, divine timing. Like I can let go of control. I can think about where my own vibration is at. You know, I can put those intentions out there, but then live in the present moment and just say, to divine, I know you'll bring my ships in. I trust that. And then so it is. And then look at this, the Ten of Cups. So that king got out of his seat, offered that cup. And now from the Nine of Cups to the Ten of Cups. Well, this is the House of Love coming right over that Knight of Cups. Or, yeah, the Knight of Cups. That unexpected cup of fulfillment, love. And the Ten of Pentacles right above it. What a change within these two people's lives. What a change, right? Abundance. Energy that can truly take root. The lovers, right? The masculine, not quite in the physical yet, but on the way. Feminine, I can feel it. And again, it is the energy, you know, it does make me think of like, you know, I've probably been in other relationships and I could have loved them, but my heart never felt fulfilled. Ten of Cups, right over the Knight of Cups. Wow. You know, sometimes I worry that a reading seems too good to be true. But here is what I really want to hammer home. That each is on their own journey. And each is learning and expanding their own, like expanding their souls, right? Gaining spiritual wisdom so that they really can become, you know, someone that we truly can look up to. Someone who can love us completely and us them. 
No wonder you have not only the Ten of Cups, but also the Ten of Pentacles. All right, one more. With that, the Four of Cups, but I do have to tell you, it came in reverse. So I feel like, and you know, this is a good image because you can see the cup in this image coming in. And again, it's to me like coming from the hand of God or divine, whatever you want to say. But using one's spiritual discernment to decide whether I'm going to accept that cup. Well, because it came in reverse, I feel like the answer is yes. So where I was discontent, bored, unhappy in my life, boy, now it's all changing. Now it's all changing. The death card, closing of a door, closing the past, allowing this next chapter to open up the world. It is the next chapter. Coming over temperance, divine timing. Mirrored by the star, hope, a dream, a wish. Feeling this energy before it even arrives. And man, the energy of the Ten of Pentacles and the Ten of Cups. But I do feel like it was important that each find themselves first. And then that feels like divine timing. Holy cow, what a reading. All right, I think what I want to do is I want to take Mother Mary over this reading. You know, and I'm looking at the emperor on the masculine side. This could be someone who owns their own business. Um, you know, what I love about the emperor is it's definitely someone who does care about their fellow man. Can be some, someone who's methodical, you know, and, and you know, kind of reminds me like Virgo and that. And that can come with, you know, uh, the overthinking type of energy also. So, putting plans in place. All right, Mother Mary, your words of wisdom over these lovers, and they will, then we will let it be. Devotion. As I fully commit to my values, relationships, and God, I am clear about what to do next. Devotion. And then look at this. Patience. Well, this is temperance. Patience. That is temperance's first lesson. I trust in divine timing. I trust in divine timing. That's exactly what temperance is asking. Having patience for what? So each can come to a certain vibration. Because I do feel like it's a must that both be of a same vibration. And this feels like a high vibration. And it doesn't mean I always live my life that way. But I've learned through my experiences. I've learned through my wisdom. Even... Let it, you know, it's like that three of wands saying, I know that my ships will come in. The lovers, right? The feminine, right there. She can feel the energy of the masculine. He just hasn't come in yet. He, she. Right? Definitely on his way. I trust in divine timing. Amen. These readings never disappoint me. And, you know, I, I feel the only thing, I have a lot of turquoise on today for some reason. Um, turquoise may mean something to someone, I don't know. Something made me put all these rings on. Um, but what was I going to say? You know, the only thing I worry about every one of these readings is, you know, how easily it moves, right? But we do want to realize, 
you know, and I think it's important to understand that each one of each one of them really had to learn a lot about themselves, right? You need to be in a certain vibration because what if you're not, what if like you're still in the five of swords energy, then chances are just like that nine of swords, you may just say no. And that is always going to be your choice, right? There's nothing here that says that you must accept this. But sometimes timing, right? We want everything now. And that makes sense, right? I want it now. But in the same breath, I want it to be of a high vibration. I want that true fulfillment of love. And it is showing everywhere. Even just the bottom of the, the bottom of the decks, that two of wands for the masculine with judgment, right? Judgment. For the feminine, the fool that's connected to the ace of cups. But listen, that ace of cups has justice underneath it. And it's interesting because the two of wands is right underneath that. So it's like cutting ties with someone, but yet that two of wands, which the masculine has, is it subconsciously you're thinking about someone? Probably. But this love, listen, it lasts for eternity. It's not a one-time thing. But taking on the fool's energy is really important, right? I, If I really want this to be, then I need to take that leap of faith. Just like I feel like the masculine has to take a leap of faith, right? I don't know how, this, how it's, they're going to respond every year. But I'm going to take that leap of faith. And I also feel like... You know, I know I have evolved. I know I'm not the same man or woman that I once was. I come to you fulfilled within, within myself. And now I want to help fulfill you. The full. Am I going to take that leap of faith? There's no denying the love. But will I allow myself? Ace of Cups. I feel like it'd be pretty hard to say no. But of course, that's each, each is free will. What a reading, guys. Um, I loved it. I loved it. You know, and um, I can see the mirrors of my own life in this reading. You know, Sam was alone for quite a bit before he reached out and called me. I had just broken up with someone. So I was in that Five of Pentacles. It did take Sam to take that leap of faith. He didn't know what I was going to say. He hadn't seen me or talked to me in 40 years. But then everything, even though it took us time, really it was more me than him. I remember we'd be on the phone and, you know, we'd be getting ready to hang up and I could hear him like very quietly say, when are you going to move in? When are you going to move in? But it was almost like he whispered it. And sometimes I heard it and sometimes I didn't. When are you going to move in? When are you coming? When are you coming? But it was a whisper. Almost like he was afraid to say it out loud. Well, he did say it, but like, you know, Probably because he could feel my own fear. Anyways, I only use my experiences because I feel like many of you will relate to them. Um, but I'm going to let that be. I'm going to let that be. Um, you know, let's just give this a title of love. Like real love. And even love has issues. But the willingness to, you, you know, because I think as Sam and I now, like, it's not that we're issue free. It's not that we don't have fights. But it's just that we know how much we love each other and we're not going to let those fights end us. And even in the beginning, I remember we got in a fight one time and I packed up my suitcases. I was going to leave. And then he just hugged me and just didn't stop hugging me. And I just knew. 
So, I'm telling you this for a reason. I don't even know why, but I just feel like, well, I feel like my guides are telling me to say it. So, patience, divine timing. And then making that commitment. I don't feel like that'll be a problem. But even if it takes time, give it the time it needs. All right, guys, I'm going to stop talking. I love you so much. I thank you. Um, you know, my prayer is that if you're in this type of relationship, that it comes together. Well, you know, I don't even want to put any, like, I want it to happen in divine timing, just as it's meant to. Just as it's meant to. So, if you're in a state of sadness right now, but you're understanding, listen, I wasn't really happy anyway. I don't know. Maybe change your intentions. And just let. Like, let the universe surprise you. Let love surprise you. Again, it's coming, but it's unexpected. Okay. I love you guys. Thank you. And I'll see you next time at our table. Bye-bye.